In today's video, I have a Dollar Tree and Chalk Couture Tear Tray Christmas DIY for you. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. I would also like to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. Okay, my sweet and beautiful friends, I am so happy to be back. Thank you to all of you who have been super patient with me. So let's not waste time. Let's jump into this DIY because I'm so excited to show you how cool this is. So to start off, I took all of the pieces from my Chalk Couture site. I will have all of these items linked down in the description box below for you, as well as in the pinned comment. So I take the tear tray out of the package and the coordinating transfer that goes with it and I cut that apart and then transferred on my image with the colors that I personally enjoyed that go with my Christmas decor. So the colors that I chose are the um, candy apple red, my gold shimmer, I also chose pesto for the green, and just a little disclaimer before we go any further, I am a mama of four and just had a baby, so you might hear my kids in the background. Sorry, not sorry. It just is what it is. So once I was done transferring on my images for the actual tiered tray, I set that aside to dry really good. I am actually working on my kitchen counter right now, and I did not have a blow dryer in here. So I just set that aside. It did not take long to dry at all, and look how absolutely absolutely gorgeous this turned out. Like I said, you can customize this to any color. If you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's jump back in. So next, I take the little add-ons, and I just lay them out so that way I can see what I'm working with. I decided to paint the book stack with my Crimson Waverly Chalk Paint, and I also decided to paint the front of this little sign as well. I set those aside to dry while I cut my transfer, and like I said, you can customize this, so if you don't like the images that I chose, you can choose the images that you personally like, or there are tons of other images images that are not in this particular transfer on my chalk site as well. Once that paint was dry, then I went ahead and transferred on this image. And look how gorgeous this turns out. So crisp and clean, which is my personal favorite with Chalk Couture. I would like to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. They are a brand new friend of the channel. Trust me y'all, they have this Black Friday sale and you do not want to miss it. And I am so excited to tell you guys about this new app that they have. So if you guys have never heard of Timu, Timu is an online global shopping app where you can find expensive items like you would find on Amazon for much, much cheaper. Y'all, me and the girls literally sat for about an hour paging through this app. We couldn't believe that the categories seem endless. Anywhere from home decor to jewelry, they have all kinds of stuff, literally stuff for anybody. Not only is Timu extremely affordable, there's many more categories than Amazon and Walmart to choose from, which I personally love. The app is super convenient and they have very safe payments and the best part, free shipping. Not only is the app super easy to download, but it's also really easy to navigate, which I'm not very tech savvy, so those types of things really matter to me. Some of the items that I picked out were a really cute pair of glasses. I also picked out a rug. A Lego set for me and the girls. Can you believe these insane prices? I got shoes for my newborn, socks for my two-year-old. I got stuff for me because, you know, mama needs a little gift as well. I actually have been looking for one of these keyboards for a while, but they were just too expensive until I found it on Timu for much cheaper. I got this little bag opener and sealer. Y'all, this phone stand was literally a dollar, and this educational game that I got for my Izzy definitely kept her entertained, which is pretty hard to do these days. So I just want to show you guys how easy the Timu app is to navigate. So all I did was go to my phone and go to the app Timu, and then you can enable notifications. That way you never miss an alert. But anyway, you guys, there is so much, so many things to choose from. And you guys, look at this. Look at that heart rug. Look how gorgeous that is. 30 cents for that rug. Look, y'all, earbuds, Lenovo, 89 cents. Take 40% off, what is that? Like, 
insane prices, y'all. Look at these makeup brushes, $1.19. And you can also go into your app and look at your order history and all that kind of stuff as well. So y'all, check out Timu. I absolutely love it. And I know you will as well. Right now, Timu is offering you guys guaranteed free shipping and 40% off for my viewers by using the code BEST256 at checkout. They're also offering free returns within 90 days of purchase, which is kind of unheard of these days. Again, don't wait to shop. 40% off is huge. So again, check the link down in the description box below at checkout. Type in the word BEST256 for 40% off. Download the app. Again, it is super easy to navigate, and I would like to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. So with that being said, let's jump back into today's video. Okay, friends, you probably hear little man. He's right here eating, but you know, mama's got to do what mama's got to do. So let's move on to this DIY. So once this book stack was dry, then I took this transfer, transferred that on to the top, and then I also transferred on Merry Little Christmas to the side. There is also Joy to the World, I believe. So if you don't like Merry Little Christmas, then you can transfer on Joy to the World, or like I said before, transfer on something totally different. So I just laid my transfers down and then um, I pulled them up. So I laid them all down. Now I probably don't recommend that because you don't want to transfer any of those words onto the next line if that makes sense. But once I was done I set that aside to dry. Now for this little rolling pin I chose the fa la la. Look how gorgeous that is cursive writing is and I transferred on the wording with my candy apple red as well as my gold for the little snowflakes or whatever that little design is and once again I peel back that transfer to reveal that gorgeous crisp image and set that aside to dry. For the mini board and base, look how cute this board and base is. We actually have a bigger size of this on my site, so look out for that. It is double-sided and reusable. I transferred on the Farm Fresh Christmas trees. I absolutely love that one. And then for the little mini cutting board, obviously I transferred on the December 25th. These are also double-sided and set that aside to dry. Now for the Dollar Tree part, I took two Dollar Tree wood pieces. Now this is one of them, the little mini cutting board and painted that with my white Waverly chalk paint. And then I worked back to the book stack. Now the back was finally dry, so I transferred on that gorgeous bell. <laughs> Once again, I set that aside to dry. Now, everybody always asks me about my bow trick, so I figured that I would try to show you guys in this video. So what you're gonna do is you're going to get a piece of ribbon and you want your tail to be as long as you want on the other side. So you're gonna use your pointer and your middle finger as well as your thumb and you're gonna lay it across like you see here and hold it with your thumb. Then you're gonna take that other piece, wrap it around and tuck it through and then flip your fingers back over. And once you flip it back over, you're going to see this little, I don't know what you wanna call it, this little pocket where you can kind of tuck that under and over and then create a knot. Now, I did tell you guys this in the actual video, but it was just way too long. So I did cut the, sign, the sound out, but if you guys have one-sided ribbon, make sure that when you do this last step and pull it through the loop, that your ribbon is going the right direction, if that makes sense. Then all you're going to do is just pull it tight. Now, if you want your bow a little bit bigger, you can spread your fingers apart, or if you want your bow smaller, then you can just keep your fingers closer together. You can also um, adjust it once you pull it off of your fingers. If it's uneven, you can make it even by just pulling that knot towards the middle. So I made about three buffalo check bows and glued those down. I glued it down to the top of the little mini cutting board. Look how gorgeous that is. And then I also glued one to the side of my rolling pin. Okay. 
So for the next little mini DIY, I do have the coordinating um, shapes that go with this transfer. So just keep that in mind. I'll pop up a picture real quick because I do physically have it now, but at the time of filming, I thought I had them, but I didn't. So I just improv improvised. I used a star from Dollar Tree and painted that with my Waverly chalk paint in moss. And I also dry brushed the moss over this little mini cutting board and then transferred on that tree with the gold. And look at my little filming buddy. Um, he's my little DIY buddy already. But anyway, like I said, I transferred that on with gold, the Christmas tree to the cutting board and set that aside. Now, if you guys did not know, you can actually create paint with the chalk paste by just adding a little bit of water. Now, I kind of made a stain and stained that Dollar Tree ornament and set that aside. I then went back to the cutting board since that was dry. I wrapped some jute around the neck of the cutting board and made a simple bow and glued that to the top of the tree and look how gorgeous that turned out. Once I was done transferring on the star and it dried, then I went ahead and glued a little bow to the top. Now, originally I had done the baker's twine, but ultimately I decided to glue down one of the buffalo check ribbons and look how gorgeous. I love it. For the wooden Dollar Tree ornament, I dry brushed that with white and set that aside to dry. I also made a double jute bow and glued that to the top of my mini board and base. Now, once the dry brushing was dry, then I went in with this little deer transfer and I did like an ombre effect. I absolutely love the way that that looks. And then I transferred on the wording at the bottom once again with my candy apple. For or to decorate this, I took the red and white baker's twine that I had and glued that to the neck of the ornament. And then I also just made a bow and glued that to the top as well. I don't know, this might be one of my little favorite uh, decorations in this DIY, but you guys can let me know down below. For the next one, I took this wooden piece from Dollar Tree. I painted it with my crimson Waverly chalk paint and you guessed it, let that dry. I also took this ribbon that I got from Walmart back on clearance at, I believe it was like New Year's last year. I always love shopping the Christmas after you know, it's on sale that for the following year because you can get some really great deals. But I just cut pieces that would fit um, like you see here and then glued them down. If you haven't guessed it, we are building a fake little present. So I glued both ribbons down, the buffalo check and the gold, and then I made a bow and glued that right down to the middle with some hot glue. Finishing the book stack was super easy. All I did was take some twine at the end, like all the way at the bottom towards the end of the bell. I wrapped it around several times, hot glued both ends, and then I made a simple double jute bow and glue that down to where the wording was. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Let me know what you guys think of it as well. And that is it for the tiered tray. I love every single piece. I love that you can customize it. Don't forget all of the items will be linked down below. And now I have a bonus DIY for you. Okay friends, for the bonus DIY, this is so simple, you could do it in your sleep. All I did was pick out the transfer that I wanted to use and cut those out. I then took this patch from my chalk site. These are super cool, you guys. You can use the ink, which is permanent, and then you there's like this paper on the back of it. You peel that off and then you can heat it up and iron it to say a pillow or a blanket or something like that. So I thought that was super cool. Like I said, you can get it on my chalk site. It's always linked in my link tree and down in the description box as well as the pinned comment. So all I did was take that bell and transfer it on with my shimmer rose gold paste. And then obviously I transferred on the Marian Bright with my black paste and made a simple bow with the ribbon that I used earlier in the faux present. Once I was done with the bow, then I clipped my 
patch to this little sign. I glued the bow to the top and literally that was it, you guys. I want to thank Tammy for sending this to me. Anybody who sends me anything or has sent the baby something, I just want you guys to know I appreciate you so, so much. So that was it for that beautiful DIY. Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys like the tiered tray or do you like the picture better? So I only had one hand to do this, so I wasn't able to film while washing these, but I'll show you guys exactly how I wash these. So as soon as I'm done transferring it on, please excuse the mess, I'm human and I'm a busy mama, so whatever. But I take it to my sink, I put it in the sink, with the paste side up, so sticky side down. I spray it real good and get all the paste off. And then I use my board eraser, which is on my chalk site. It's just like a um, magic eraser without the chemicals. And while the water is running, warm water, not hot, not cold. If you're using glitter paste or shimmer paste, you wanna use cold, cold. But if you're just using regular paste, you're going to use warm water. And while the water is running over it, after you've sprayed off all the paste, then you're just going to wipe it front, back with the board eraser. You're going to rinse it off and lay it oops, sticky side up on a paper towel until they dry. Then once they dry, you can stick them right back to the backing sheet. I hope this helps. If nobody has told you today, you guys are absolutely amazing, gorgeous, and worthy. Don't ever forget it. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload, or join the DIY fam here to your right.